Hello and welcome to the 22nd PHP tutorial where we left off. We were discussing um, MD5 hashing, um, but I did tell you that they are crackable and there are people with massive databases that can crack your MD5 hash in like a millisecond. So what can we do to combat that? And to combat that, you can use a kind of process called salting. So what salting does is adds a little bit of characters to the beginning or the end of uh, a password. So what you can do is, uh, let's do, um, well, we'll just erase this, and we'll erase this. So what you can do now is, let's say that's the password, and then salt will specify as, uh, that's our salt. Now, um, the next thing that you want to do is, uh, the hashed version of password is just this, you know, so hashed equals um, MD5 PW, okay? The salted version equals um, MD5 salt plus uh, password. Now we want to echo hashed, and then uh, we'll add a couple breaks here. And then we want to echo out the salted version of that hash. Goodness. I didn't even need those, <laughs> those breaks at the end, whatever. Anyway, um, so we'll re-upload that. We'll come over, refresh. And sure enough, you know, the this is typical password. This is the uh, salted version of that. So when someone goes to run this uh, through, it won't be as... Uh, it won't relate to the person's password. It's going to relate to the password and the salt. And so then what you can do is you can start to get kind of fun with this and you can salt the heck out of this and you could even um, do some string commands to the password, even the MD5 version of the password. You could say like 20 characters in uh, or like three characters into uh, the MD5 hash of password. You can input the salt into there. And so there's a lot of different ways you can really obfuscate the password and, and pretty much make it uh, almost as secure as something like 128-bit encryption. So anyways, that concludes the tutorial on hashing and then subsequent salting. Um, as always, thank you for watching and until next time.